When we think of wartime defence systems, most people picture tripwires, sirens or electric sensors. But deep inside the bunkers of World War II, there existed a form of security so clever, so quietly effective, that even modern survivalists can learn from it today. It didn't rely on batteries, radios or any powered equipment. It relied entirely on one of the most basic forces of nature, light. Before motion sensors and infrared detectors ever existed, Allied and Axis soldiers both found ways to detect movement using shadows, angles and candlelight. This was the shadow alarm, and if you've never heard of it, you're about to discover one of the most ingenious low-tech defense tools ever created. Inside underground bunkers, there was one constant problem – Visibility. Any open flame was risky. It could reveal a position or consume precious oxygen. But in total darkness, sentries were effectively blind. Soldiers needed a way to detect intruders quietly, without the clanging of metal or the crackle of electricity. That's when the shadow alarm was born. The idea was simple but brilliant. A small candle or oil lamp would be positioned in a controlled space, behind a barrier inside a lantern or within a slit of light projecting toward a flat wall. In front of that light, soldiers would place thin objects like strings, twigs or narrow strips of paper at measured intervals. When no one moved, the shadows of those strips lined up perfectly in their usual pattern. But if someone passed through the entry corridor, even the slightest air movement or shift in light would cause those shadows to tremble, break or distort. This visual disturbance became the silent signal, an alarm that required no wires, no batteries and no sound. One flicker of a shadow could mean someone was inside. It was crude, but it worked, and for soldiers guarding ammunition stores or sleeping quarters, that flicker could mean the difference between safety and sabotage. If you want to recreate this system for demonstration or practical use, it's surprisingly easy. Start with a single candle or low-watt LED lantern. Anything that produces a stable, directional light source. Place it on a level surface about waist height, preferably near the back wall of a room or bunker-like space. Now position a white or light-coloured surface opposite the light source. This could be a smooth wall, a hanging sheet, or even a plywood board painted in pale colour. Next, you'll set up your shadow line. Suspend thin strings or strips. You can use fishing line, thread or fine sticks, vertically about halfway between the light and the wall. Space them evenly. When you light your candle, you'll see clear, sharp shadows forming on your surface. These are your baseline shadows, the calm state of your alarm. Here's the key. Any movement in front of the light, even slight air displacement from footsteps, will alter those shadows. The human eye is far better at detecting motion than static detail, so once you fix your gaze on those shadows, you'll immediately notice if something moves, even if it's just the faintest flutter. In wartime conditions, soldiers would often mark the edge of the shadow pattern with charcoal, or chalk lines on the wall. That way, if the lines ever shifted, even subtly, they'd know something had disturbed the balance. You can do the same. Draw reference marks to identify normal shadow alignment. It's simple geometry in action. Even in our world of high-tech alarms and wireless cameras, the shadow alarm offers something unique total independence from power and technology. During blackouts, remote expeditions, or survival scenarios where silence is absolutely essential, this method still works exactly as it did 80 years ago. Let's say you're camping in a remote area. You have just a single candle 
or perhaps a solar lantern. You can set up a shadow alarm at your tent entrance using string and a flat board. If anyone or anything, animal or human, approaches during the night, the movement will alter your shadow pattern. It's completely silent, needs no setup time, and can operate for hours. In a home defense scenario, during grid down events or prolonged blackouts, you could position a small lamp near a hallway and create a similar shadow field on a wall. It would silently tell you if anyone crosses that space without tripping a single wire or triggering any noise. For survivalists, it's a perfect marriage of simplicity and effectiveness. The shadow alarm isn't just a clever piece of historical ingenuity. It's a reminder of how adaptable people become under pressure. When supplies were scarce, soldiers didn't wait for technology. They created solutions with what they had. A candle, a few sticks, and an understanding of light behavior became a life-saving detection system. For historians, this kind of invention reveals how science and necessity intertwine during war. For survivalists, it's a masterclass in resourcefulness. Proof that defense doesn't have to be complex or digital to be reliable. Every person serious about preparedness can learn from that mindset. Use what you have, know how it behaves, and never underestimate the power of observation. Try building your own shadow alarm this week. Set it up in a dim room or maybe even your garage. Experiment with different light angles and materials until your shadows are crisp. Practice recognizing subtle changes in the pattern. You'll find that your eyes adjust faster than you expect, and before long you'll feel the same quiet confidence those bunker guards must have felt aware of every shift in your environment, yet completely silent. In the end, that's what survival is all about. Awareness, adaptability, and mastery of the simplest tools. If you found this deep dive useful, share it with someone who values history that still matters today. Subscribe to Warfield Survival for more forgotten wartime techniques brought back to life. Every week we uncover the genius of old world defense systems that still outsmart modern threats. Stay sharp, stay prepared, and keep the flame of history burning.